Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be field stripping MREs. What is field stripping an MRE? Basically, you can take four pat pouches or more, doesn't matter. I have six total right here. Basically, what field stripping these would entail would be opening them all up, dumping all the contents out, looking through through those contents and finding the stuff that I like and or dislike. All the stuff I don't like, I'm gonna throw to the side. The things I do like, I'm just gonna stuff them back down into pouches and have them spread out in a way that instead of me having six of these large pouches, I could then possibly have three pouches or two pouches condensed with all the stuff that I know I'm going to like and it's going to be a whole lot easier for me to mess with. When you deal with the MREs for over the years all the menus have changed. With your military MREs you get basically two boxes box A box B and in each box there's set menus. So box A has menus yada 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 and box B has yada 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 yada. That's set in stone. When I ordered these, I ordered these from the Epic Center and this is a civilianized version of an MRE. It is made by the same company or one of the same companies that produces MREs for the military but this is not what is sent to the military. This is just so Potco's version of a civilian MRE. All the stuff that's inside is the exact same stuff that you would find in a military MRE. They even use some other, I guess, old um, logo printing with the little little soldier on there and then some of the design. The only thing missing on this these particular packages would, would be the um, little label on there that says government property not for resale. As I said, these are virtually the same as what the military gets, except these pouches are clear, they're not brown, and they miss a little logo on there. These also, these particular pouches that I got also don't have the flameless ration heater. This little guy right here. From what I understand, the flameless ration heater is a hazmat item, so I'm guessing they took those out to save on hazmat shipping. If you ever dealt with hazmat shipping, it's pretty expensive. But over the years, um, people have, have field strip MREs before they went all the way out in the, in the field. They would just open up the packages, dump stuff out, take what they liked, and just put them in fewer pouches. And the the pro to that is if you know you take six pouches here, you take all that stuff out, condense it down into just two packages, so you're saving space and saving weight. For example, I don't like the mashed potatoes that comes in MREs. I always ditch those. So if I'm going to be ditching that. I know I'm not going to be eating it. Why would I be carrying all that weight around? Ounces equal pounds and pounds equals pain. Now at some point, I don't know exactly when, um, sometime in the 2000s, the military decided to produce a ration called the first strike ration. And the first strike ration is basically what you would get when you field stripped a bunch of MREs. It's just a, a little bit of a, a larger pouch that has more stuff in it um, that would be in line with your main entrees and things that are just easier to eat out the pouch that you don't really have to sit there and fool around with. So let's jump into it. Now normally on one of these military MREs you would have a menu on the front telling you what you got. These don't tell me what I got. So I'm literally going to have to open these to figure out what I have. These are 
peelable pouches. Just fill it open and we'll dump it. So these are basically double pouched. Kind of nice. Here we have shredded beef and barbecue sauce. Great flavored drink mix. Nutritional card. Get you your applesauce cake. Apple jelly. Tortillas. Black beans and a seasoned sauce. And then the little cardboard sleeve that the shredded beef and barbecue sauce should have been put in. The accessory packet looks like it has, uh, it looks like the military version of the spoon. Let's see if I got me an extra one around here. Yep, same spoon. But the um, contents are a little bit different than what I remember. Get a fresh nap, towel it, uh, instant coffee, pepper and salt, sugar, coffee mate, and napkin. So out of this, I know I don't really care for the coffee stuff, so I can throw that off to the side. The sugar, I mean, I don't really make sugar in my food, so I can get rid of the sugar. Salt and pepper, yeah, we can keep that. So black beans in a seasoned sauce, and shredded beef and barbecue sauce. Those two sound okay. These tortillas, don't know about that. The apple jelly, not too sure about that. And this applesauce cake, not too sure about that. Uh, great flavored mixed drink, that seems okay. Let me pile this stuff up off to the side here. There's some type of glue in here. I don't know what it is or why it was in there. Don't, I hope it's not something leaking out. I think it's more of a glue. I don't know where it would've come from or what it would've been used for, but it's pretty sticky. So you can save this pouch for later to be able to stuff more of the entrees into. So I'll go ahead and stuff my two main entrees that I like the most in there. We'll open up another pouch. Spaghetti with beef and sauce. A lemon drink powder. Another nutritional card. Uh, applesauce cake. Italian breadsticks. Apple jelly. 
another accessory packet. And garlic mashed potatoes. I don't like mashed potatoes, so this is going bye-bye. And the cardboard packaging that the spaghetti and beef sauce should have been slid into. Or could have been slid into. I don't know. I don't know why they did that like that. Alright, so that's one package off. Open up another package. Chicken and noodles, lemon drink, grape jelly, crackers, applesauce. I don't like the applesauce, so this is going bye-bye. Chocolate chip cookie, can't go wrong with cookies. Accessory packet, and more cardboard. Get entree gravy with seasoned beef. Another lemon drink. Applesauce cake. Accessory packet. Apple jelly. Crackers. Garlic mashed potatoes. Bye bye. So out of what we've got so far, um, I'm not the biggest fan of spaghetti, so I'll keep these off of the side for right now to figure out if I want to put those in here. Crackers, I know I like crackers, so I can stuff these down in there. Here. Hash brown pots with bacon, peppers, and onions. I don't think I've ever had that before. Applesauce, blah, crackers, we go. Another chocolate chip cookie, and some more beverage powder. This one's orange. And another grape jelly. All right, and our Last package. I had six of these that are ordered. Chocolate chip cookie, accessory packet. Cherry blueberry cobbler, breadsticks, and elbow 
macaroni, and tomato sauce. All right, so out of all those six packages, I've identified that, let's see here, one, two, three, four. Four things for sure that I don't like. Applesauce and mashed potatoes. Never cared for these, just don't know why. I just don't really like them. So I know that this is a bunch of weight that I can get rid of. Granted, it's not a whole lot of weight, but still it's some weight that I don't have to be carrying around and just ditch it out later. <clears throat> so out of this, what I got that I know I like or will like, shredded beef and barbecue sauce, black beans and seasoned sauce, the macaroni and tomato sauce, not the biggest fan of that, the cherry blueberry cobbler, sounds appetizing. Spaghetti with beef and sauce, not the biggest spaghetti fan, but this brisket entree gravy with seasoned beef, that sounds like it would be pretty good. And the hash brown pots, it might be tots, but it says, it looks like a pea pots. Hash brown pots with bacon, peppers, and onions. That seems like this might be all right. So I got a pretty good sizable amount of entrees here that I like. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kind of main entree deals with things like crackers. The crackers are all right. The beverage powders, can't go wrong with those. Those are always good. The jelly can can be all right on the crackers. The chocolate chip cookies, those are all right. And you also get rid of all this extra cardboard that I'm not gonna need. And then I can go through all the other accessory packets and take out things like coffee that I know I'm not gonna want and get rid of that stuff and then get rid of all this other um, cardboard. It's a lot of cardboard in there. Get rid of that. Here's more applesauce cake. Okay, so the rest of this stuff, I can just kind of repackage into um, another pouch. So we'll go with the spaghetti with beef and sauce and where's that cobbler at? There we go. So I got two entree pouches here. I'll take some crackers with some grape jelly. I'll take me a chocolate chip cookie. So I got two entree pouches here. Crackers, jelly, chocolate chip cookie. And then I'll take an accessory packet. Yeah, sorry, let me clear out some of the space here. I'll need to take a, let's see, what would I want to drink? Um, I'll go with a lemon. I think a lemon would go good with this. So I can take this stuff, this and this. I can stuff it down in this pouch and still have a little more room to add a little bit more. We can take the chicken and noodles. Doesn't really matter if um take the shredded beef and barbecue sauce and then take the uh hash browns, peppers and all that. 
Got another thing of crackers, nothing of jelly, and another. See here, I got lemon lime. I'll mix it up. I'll give myself an orange. Open up another accessory packet. Got a couple spoons. We'll keep the fresh nuts, salt and pepper. Get rid of the coffee. Keep the salt and pepper. Get rid of the sugar. Get rid of the coffee mate. And I can save the napkins where I put the other napkin at. I got napkin in there. So one thing I noticed that these are missing is a little classic little roll of military toilet paper. So these are slightly different than what you would get out of an actual MRE, but all this stuff is the same. Just don't have regular toilet paper. <laughs> all right, so. Take this, turn this in there sideways, get my main entrees down in there, take these entrees, stick them down in there, sideways, put crackers, stick some crackers down in there. Flip it over and do it on the other side here. Drop the jelly down in one corner. Drink powder. Flip it down on one side. Drink powder down on the other side. Along with the cracker. Take my cookie, slide it down in between the, the entree pouches, and I, I guess maybe get the cookie to fit. There we go. I'm take the uh, napkins slash what would be toilet paper, stuff them down in there. Drop my salt and pepper down in there. Hand wipes. Uh, I think I missed one jelly. Yeah, I did. So I'll throw another jelly in there. I mean, you can stuff the spoons back down in there, or you can just kind of keep them off in your backpack off of the side. But I'll push these down in there. So I can have two different disposable spoons. And then, if I wanted to, I could take. 100 mile per hour tape and just kind of reseal this up. So now I have one big pouch that has probably the contents of about, let's see here, one, two, um, two, two and a half MREs that's now been all condensed down into one. And then I can keep doing this for all the other packages that I that I've got. So I'll set that off to the side, and I'll go ahead and open up a MRE that I had uh, several years back that I had already um, did the same thing too. So this is an older package that I had. Field stripped. I don't remember what I put in this, but we'll just take a look at it. So, carrot pound cake, some old Reese's, peanut butter, cheese tortellini, crack. 
crackers and I play with ration heater. So I could probably take this ration heater and stuff it down into there um, because this stuff has been in storage for a few years now. It's time to rotate it out um, of my MRE stuff that I keep in a go bag. Um, basically what I'm doing is rotating this stuff out of service and I'll be putting this stuff in service and putting it down in my go bag. So I can take some things and just transfer it over like these flameless ration heaters. I'll just transfer this over to these other pouches that I open up my old ones and keep rocking on with it. So that is basically uh, field stripping MREs. You just open them all up, take out the stuff you don't like, ditch them, and then you take the remaining stuff that you like and you put them in, put them back into the packages. So you're reducing some weight by eliminating the things that you just don't have to be carrying around because you know you don't care for them. And you can save a little bit of space that way if you were gonna be carrying around six unopened packages of MREs, you can strip them all and reduce that down to the package size and weight of about two packages or maybe three. If you have any comments uh, or questions, uh, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. If you like what you see here, give me a like, comment, and share. Get that out to your friends. I go over to the Facebook page and do the same thing over there because I'll be posting this video over there as well. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.